Hello and welcome to my channel. In the previous video, you learned how to use the exclude property and the data notation. In this video, you are going to learn how to use the not null and accessor annotation. Follow my steps. Inside the movie Java Bean, replace the data annotation with the getter and setter annotation. On the top of the field title, put the annotation not null. In this case, Project Lombol takes care that the title will never be null. Do the same for the refing and ID field. Now go inside movietest.java and run all the tests. Good. Now, inside the target and classes folder, open the file movie.class. You can see inside the set ID set title and set rating that Project Lombo has generated for you the logic to avoid the null values. It put a simple if-else throwing a null pointer exception in case of a null value. Let's imagine that you want to write a method and you want to check that all parameters of your method will be never null. Also, in this case, you can use the annotation not null inside your method near the parameter that you want to check. In the same way, go inside the movie test class and run all the tests. Good. Now open the movie.class and inside it, you should see the method get minutes plus x with your code, but also with the line to avoid having a null value as a parameter, meaning the line objects dot require not null added by our project lombo the annotation not null works also with the annotation all arts constructor require constructor and no r constructor that you saw in the previous video inside the movie dot class you should see three constructor inside two of them you can see the check added by Project Lombok to avoid having null values. There is another interesting annotation provided by Project Lombok called Accessor. You can put this annotation on the top of the movie Java Bean or on the top of each field. With this annotation, you can use different properties like Fluent and Chain. If you put the property Fluent as true, Project Lombok will remove the prefix get and the prefix set for the method getter as setter. For example, let's try to put it on the top of the ID. Opening the movie test.java, you can see the error on the line 26. This happens because it does not exist anymore, the set ID method, but now it just ID. Good. Now open the movie.class and inside it, you should see that for the ID, you have just the method called ID instead of getting ID and the same thing for the method setID. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new videos that I will upload. And see you in the next one. Bye.